Hey, good evening, everyone. Joel Hondorp here on a uh, not really cold uh, winter evening. Um, welcome to this uh, second part of a doubleheader between of, uh, our Byron Center boys playing against a visiting Greenville Yellow Jackets. Byron Center is coming in four and three. Um, started off with four great wins to start the season, but on a, kind of a three-game slide after the holiday break. They're 0-2 in the conference. They lost in overtime Tuesday night um, in a heartbreaker at Forest Hill Central. Greenville comes in at five and four. Um, they're also 0 and two in the conference. Our uh, starters for tonight for um, your visiting Greenville Yellow Jackets is number two, Braylon Heist, number three, Marco Fontanella, number four, Trevor Zamoran, number five, Ben Hutchinson, and uh, Caleb, and number 43, Caleb Clements. So, um, and they're all underclassmen. They have they have one uh, senior, Marco Fontanella, who is an exchange student actually from Italy. I was told. Um, so for Byron Center, our starting lineups are oh, and Greenville's coached by Joel Visser. Your Byron Center Bulldogs is um, starters for tonight is number one Connor Ferguson, a junior, and then you have Austin Buckley, a senior, wearing number four, Isaac Lee, a sophomore, who's uh, wearing number ten, and uh, another sophomore starting. Camden Carroll wearing number 15 and number 33, my neighbor across the street, JJ Brock, who's a junior. So Byron Center starts a bunch of underclassmen as well. So it's uh, gonna be a great night. Byron Center is coached by Joe Rodriguez. So yeah, both these schools are looking for their first win in the conference. Um, and so what a great evening tonight. It's uh, Nichols night tonight. So we've got a full house of uh, fifth and sixth graders here. They had pizza in between the games. So a fun, a fun night for them. Uh, JJ Brock to, uh, to jump off against uh, number three, Marco Fontanella. Greenville wins the tip. And here, come, and here comes Greenville down the court. Shot is up. Rattles out. It's grabbed by Ferguson. Here come the Bulldogs. J.J. Brock with it. Buckley for three. Off the rut. Cam, Car Cam Carroll gets the, yeah, bot, gets the off his rebound. Brock wants the ball. Trying to fight inside. Off the iron and rebounded by Fontanella. Here comes Greenville. So about this first minute of play, nobody, no score yet. And that continues on. J.J. Brock controls the defensive rebound. And Austin Buckley with two drops in the first deuce. And center out to the early lead. And shot in for number four, Trevor Zamorin. So. 2-2, two, two. number four, number four. Are your first scorers for this evening. Lee with the ball back over to Ferguson. Byron Center working through their offense. Buckley has a, has a look, he's a good three point shooter. He's leading all scorers on this team with 119 points. Cam Carroll's leading uh, with uh, 40 rebounds, or Ben Hegel's actually leading with 43 rebounds. A three-point shot. For Carroll with three points. Just talk about that young man. And he hits three. Five-two. Cam Carroll also leads the team with blocks with 15. He's got quite the wingspan. Number four, Trevor Zimmer with uh, another two. Five-four, Byron Center. Cam Carroll call, tracks it down, he got it. Cam Carroll gets offensive rebound and puts it back up. So Warren Sears had some good looks at it so far. Shot is up, off the mark, but they get an offensive rebound.
Shots up for three, off the mark. He's over the back, it's gonna be a foul on number four. It's gonna be his first team's first. It's a good box out for Byron Center and uh, gets the foul for over the back. Ferguson brings it up. There's three players there. There's gotta be some openings. J.J. Brock, five slam a jamma. J.J. Brock with a, brings down the hammer. Shots up, it's off the mark. Buckley with a rebound, here comes Byron Center, coming quick. Oh, J.J. Brock with offensive rebound, up to Isaac Lee for three. He got it! And this Byron Center crowd is electric. Number 21 coming in for Jackson Eagles, coming in for um, Byron Center, or for uh, Greenville. So it's gonna be a 30 second timeout uh, for for this. So, wow, Byron Center, what a, what a quick start there with a 12 to, 12 to four lead with 425 left to go uh, in the first quarter. So, wow, that was exciting, folks. We got a dunk and a three pointer, There's a couple three pointers. So, um, what a great start for this uh, Byron Center game. Here comes Greenville in. Isaac Lee's gonna pick up the pick up the defense about the half court mark. The Byron Center in, in a zone. Reynolds out. JJ Brock with a defensive rebound. Isaac Lee with the ball. Looking to break loose. Over to Brock. Ferguson Carroll. Carroll wants it down low. Oh, battles back out, and Greenville controls the defensive rebound. Carroll's looking for that ball, but good job by Byron Center. To, oh, Buckley with a steal. Isaac Lee with the ball at the top. He's going to try to drive through. Over to Carroll. Carroll's going to shoot three. He got another. Byron Center's big man have put in uh, some good playing time already. It's going to be off, and it's going to be Byron Center ball. In for Byron Center, number 22, Ben Hegel. In for J.J. Brock. He said Ben Hegel's the, the leading rebounder. And then in for Greenville, uh, Zeke Robinette, number 13, checks in for, for the Yellow Jackets. Carroll with the ball up top. Eagle sets a nice pick. Buckley for three. Oh, usually you can't give him any, any daylight because he'll take it. Greenville, Greenville can't escape with one there. Inside for number four, rattles home. Good move there by uh, Greenville's uh, offense. And he has all six points of the Greenville's offense. And big defensive rebound. Isaac Lee, oh, he almost had the steal. Kick out for number 13, all by himself, off to the front. Ferguson with a great, great steal. Buckley's got underneath, no shot. He's gonna say he's on the floor. Gonna be a rebound on, or foul on the floor. Number four, Braden Heist. That's his first, team second. And Byron Center doesn't have any fouls right now, so Byron Center has the ball underneath. Ben Hegel gets the ball on the throw in. Well, Buckley couldn't handle the pass, and so ball's out of bounds, so Greenville's ball. On the next timeout, Michael Bradshaw's gonna be coming in for the Bulldogs.
Ben Hegel comes down with a with tip ball. Kick out for Buckley all by himself. And can't get it. Carroll with a rebound. He got it. Seventeen six with one and a half left. Number 43 is going to be coming back in for Greenville. Shot is up. I think Carroll got a tip on that. Well, out of bounds. And Byron Center coming in. J.J. Brock coming back in as well for Carroll. So Byron Center's got um, three, 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 big, three big guys. So yeah, they have three big guys they can rotate out, just like um, they have some guards that they can run through too, but they have three uh, big guys that you can uh, run through the cycle as well with a... Eagle, Carroll, and Brock. Brock's got the ball up top. Lee works his way through. Brock's going to take this guy down low. The Eagle, and Eagle rails one in. Shot up by number four, off the mark. Oh, J.J. Brock gets the rebound. Oh. Ball's bouncing around. It's going to be white ball. Coming in for Greenville, number five, Ben Hutchinson's back in the game. Under a minute left in this first quarter. Byron center up, 19 to six. Very first, very fast first quarter. Not a lot of whistles. Greenville almost had a steal there. Byron center recovers. J.J. Brock with it up top. Over to Bradshaw. Lee, Lee's got it up at the top, so. Byron Center's taking it down for the last shot of the quarter. J.G. Brock moves it. Ferguson down low, sneaks through, nothing there. Brock, Brock has it rattled out. Shots up and it's good. Three shots in. Number 21 hits, hits the three point at the buzzer. Wow. So at the end of the quarter, Byron Center, 19. Yellow Jackets try to climb back in within 10 with nine. Let's look at our sponsors in a minute. Our first one is uh, Byron Township, a community on the move. Gaines Charter Township. Our silver sponsors are Family Fair, Fast Signs, and Orthopedic Associates of Michigan. And then our athletic gold sponsors are Armored Roofing and Construction and the Center for Physical Rehabilitation. Would you like a copy of today's game or any other event covered by BCTV? We just got out of holiday season, so you know there's a lot of good uh, concerts that are, that are available. Not a problem. Get a hold of us at 878-6781 or through our website www.byrontv.com for either a Blu-ray or DVD of whatever event you're looking for. Blu-rays are only $15. DVDs are 10 Again, call 878-6781 or visit www.byrontv.com to order your Blu-ray or DVD today. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. A little cough there. So Byron Center ball. Um, there was no held balls during that, so Byron Center gets it on the change of possession. Ferguson with the ball up top, up to J.J. Brock. Oh, he thought about the three, and he's gonna call a walk. He took that step before he put the ball down, so he thought about that three for just half a second there and then saw that he had a lane, but his feet got moving before the ball, so turnover uh, goes to Greenville. And he's gonna redeem himself. Here it comes. Here comes the hammer. Oh, and he misses the layup. And it's gonna be Greenville ball, so he, was going to go in for the dunk and then change his mind went for a layup and I think I think there was too many things going on at that time so he's got, he's got to get past that one and uh, let that one go oh and they rattle in a ball ball for number five Hutchinson, that's his first bucket of the game. It's 19-11. Just like that, we're at an eight-point game. Isaac Lee over to Bradshaw. Bradshaw for three. Off the mark. Brock gets the rebound. Try to get it into Bradshaw, but 
a turnover goes to Greenville. Cam Carroll's gonna be coming in for the Bulldogs. There's a shot, 21 off the mark. He's the one who hit that long three right at the buzzer. Isaac Lee with the ball, Brock trailing. Isaac Lee hits two. And that's Byron's first points. We got a full timeout for, for Greenville. So at the beginning of this game, John, just before uh, we had the national anthem, the uh, um, Megan Leslie from Greenville on the girls team for Greenville was honored for getting her 1,000th uh, point during that last game. So fantastic for them. So we've always said that sportsmanship is the golden rule. And we can, and with good sportsmanship, you celebrate the achievements of um, your opponents and, and when they uh, do good things. But why should it stop when the game is over? Now more than ever, we need to respect each other and treat each other with common decency, not only between the lines, but outside the lines in our daily lives. In sports and in life, nothing beats good sportsmanship. A message from the Michigan High School Athletic Association promoting the value and values of educational athletics. So one interesting thing about this um, this Byron Center team, some, a lot of play, every, every one of the players on this team has uh, scored at least uh, at least once, um, has, has at least uh, four points, uh, or actually at least two points in this uh, season. So um, so everybody, everybody on this team has at least scored once in a game. Um, so you have a, and also if you look at the scoring, yes, uh, us uh, Buckley's at 119, and then Cam Carroll's at 74. But after that, it's uh, well sp spread out. So Greenville with the ball, down by 10. Well, Cam Carroll, that wingspan, he, he, he you got to get that ball way up. So off the. Off Carroll's hands, and so it'll be Greenville's ball from um, the sideline. Greenville gets it in. Almost turned over by Greenville, but they had somebody out there waiting to pick up, to pick it up. Oh, good, good save by Ferguson. Here comes Lee. Carroll's got it. I don't know whether there's steps in there or not, but not pretty basketball, but who knows. Carroll stepped on the end line, so probably got away with a, maybe a little bit of footwork there, but, um, but Carroll steps on the, the baseline, and so the turnover goes over to Greenville. So both teams only have two points so far uh, in this first three minutes of the second quarter. Floater over the top, hits nothing. Oh, Eagle gets his pass stolen. Number two, Braylon Heist gets two points for that. Byron Center's gonna have a whole, gonna have a, a whole line shift coming here. Ferguson's working down low. Carroll's trying to get some space. Doesn't get it, Eagle with a rebound. Tries to get back up. We're gonna call Cam Carroll over the back, it looks like. That's gonna be his first, team's first. So they got him over the back. In for Bulldogs, uh, number 21, Landon Quaker. Number three, um, Austin Krause. And, uh, and then Buckley's back in the game as well. Ball's out of bounds. It's gonna be Byron Center ball. Here comes the Bulldogs down the court. Luckily with the ball up top, Ben Eagle's got it now. Trying to drive through. Good defense by Greenville here. Cam Carroll trying to sneak in one in, he got it. Byron Center was out without a point for quite a while there, so they stopped their uh, their drought. And still up by 10, 23-13 with 4.20 left in the, in the half. Shot up by number four, misses it. Got an offensive rebound though. A lot of foot movement there. Oh, Ben Hegel loses the rebound. 
and Buckley ends up with it. They're gonna get a blocking foul, so. So fouls on number three, Marco Fontanella. That's his first, team's third. So three team fouls for Greenville, only one team foul for the Bulldogs. So nobody in any kind of foul trouble here. All three of the fouls by Greenville are all by three different players. In for the Bulldogs is uh, number 11, Trey Sluter. Buckley for three, he rattles it out. And defensive rebound goes to Greenville. Cam Carroll rips down the rebound. Here comes Sluter. Carroll floats one in. He's gonna shoot two. 43 is a foul, that's his first, team's fourth. So Cam Carroll shooting two. First one's off the mark. Oh, got a timeout by Byron Center. They're gonna take a 30 second timeout. So if you wanna follow BCTV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, you can find us at BCTV25 across all platforms. I said that we're gonna be doing a double header today and made sure I put on hashtag BCTV25. So uh, if you're gonna be watching this game, uh, let everybody else know how you've been watching it. Whether you're watching it on Facebook or want to know when the games are gonna come up, um, you follow Facebook, follow BCTV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, or subscribe to YouTube, you'll know when these events are gonna be played. So that's the first buzzer. So 337 left in the half, Byron Center 23, Greenville 13. Um, so both teams have only scored four points in, the, in this quarter, but Cam Carroll's got one more shot after missing the first. Shots up and it's good. Number four hits another one. Zamorin, I don't think he understands that he's a guard and doesn't usually play in the post, but he's been playing there. It's gonna be a blocking foul. Cam Carroll could probably call that either way, but I think I think that number three is his, uh, so Marco Fontenelle is second, that's the team's fifth. And I think his feet were just moving enough as Cam lowered, it, lowered down. Buckley's got the ball up top. Shot is up. Oh, it's off the mark. Sluter comes through and grabs the rebound. Buckley with the ball. He's going to take a three. He got it. Austin Buckley for three. So 27 15. Byron Center goes up by 12. Ball's on the ground. Sluter gets it, uh, over to Buckley, Buckley underneath. Got it, and one. Number four, Zamorin, that's his second. That's gonna be the team six. Isaac Lee coming in for the Bulldogs. He's gonna be coming in for Austin Krause. Isaac Lee gets a nice little break. And he rattles it out. Greenville calls a 30 second timeout. Correction. So Byron Center foul on number five, Drew Thomas. Team that is his.
by Ben Hutchinson. They're just doing a correction there. So Zamorin does only has one, and Ben Hutchinson has one. So the only only player that has two fouls is Spotnella, number three. Carroll with a rebound. Here come the Bulldogs. In the corner for Koiker. Misses it, but and Greenville ends up with the ball. Oh, almost the steal by by Sluter there. Greenville inbounds the ball, works through their offense. Cam Carroll just takes the ball right away from him. Isaac Lee loses the ball. Kind of a long pass, trying to hard to get there. Another block for Carroll. And here comes Isaac Lee with two. He got it. J.J. Brock is going to be coming in for the Bulldogs on the next whistle. Three-point shot is up, and it rattles in by number two, Braylon Heist. Cam Carroll for two, off the mark, rebounded by Greenville. Buckley steals it. They're gonna call an offensive foul. So coming in for Greenville is gonna be number 11, Nick Earls, and number 21, uh, Jackson Ingles. And J.J. Brock comes back in. So Buckley with a foul, he kind of, kind of was going in fast, lost his footing, and so kind of a player control foul. So that's only two fouls by the Bulldogs with one minute left in the quarter, up 31-18. It's going to be nice not having anybody in foul trouble uh, going into your second half. Shots up. Got it. Zamorin for three. And he's got the bulk of their, their scoring tonight. Byron's are up by 10 with 39 seconds left. Lee with the ball way up top. J.J. Brock with the ball up top over to Carroll. Buckley with it. Byron Center is going to run some clock here. Twenty seconds left. Isaac Lee with it up top. JJ Brock with it. Over to Buckley. Under five. JJ Brock puts it up and he got it. And at the end of the half, fire in center 33. And great. Greenville at 21 so um, wow that was a quick half there folks so um, with that we'll take a little bit of a break when we come back uh, just be just before the half starts we'll talk about who scored what and where we're, where we're standing in the game enjoy the half and we'll see you in a bit BCTV is Byron and Games Charter Township's educational access television station. Broadcasting on Comcast 25, they provide a variety of quality programming for and about the community. Launched in 1994 as a partnership between Byron Township and Byron Center Public Schools, 
BCTV has grown in both scope and quality since its initial broadcast on October 10th, 1994. Good evening and welcome to the BCTV, to the grand opening of Channel 23, an educational access channel. With additional financial support coming from Games Charter Township, BCTV has produced thousands upon thousands of hours of programming that not only serves to keep the community engaged, but also provides a vivid and unique archive of our history for future generations. BCTV is located in the Byron Center High School. It really wasn't the school that approached the township. It was the township that approached the school. They had these franchise fees coming in, and they knew this was a great opportunity to uh, build a station. And partnering with the school just seemed the perfect way to do this. And to be honest, it was the perfect way to do this. With franchise and peg fees provided by the township and facilities and infrastructure provided by the school district, this unique partnership has allowed BCTV to blossom over nearly 30 years. From humble beginnings, BCTV has grown into a full-fledged facility, complete with a production studio, a podcast studio, multimedia computer lab, upgraded studio control, mobile studio, and an upgraded head end to meet today's broadcast standards. This is the BCTV head end. It contains all of the equipment we need to send our feed to Comcast cable. Hello, and welcome to BCTV's television studio. There are many things that happen in this space from the programs that we broadcast to you, student projects, and even local community projects. This space can be utilized by you, the public we serve, for even your own projects. We have 30 workstations for everyone to use, which is really great. We also have a, a podcasting studio, and we've had community members come in here and do podcasts, which is another great opportunity. Um, really, the school paid for everything with podcasting. The school pays for all the computers. The township pays for a lot of, like, the remote truck. With their mobile studio, BCTV's productions are ready for air as soon as the end credits fade. So we're mixing the cameras live. We're mixing on-air graphics live. All of our audio, music, everything is mixed live right there in the mobile studio so that at the end of the day, the show is done, no post-production, you unplug, it goes right to air. Of course, none of this would be possible without the help of volunteers. Community members of all ages, of all walks of life, gather together to learn new skills while at the same time giving back to their community. I've actually had shoots where a grandson has been on the camera as his grandfather is announcing the game. Or a father and son are announcing games together. And, and just being able to bring the community together and, and get those amazing. So just what kind of programming can you see on BCTV? Hey, Joel Hunter here back uh, just before the second half. So Byron Center is up 33-21. Um, scoring for Greenville, only four players scored. Um, number two had five points. Number four had 11 points. Uh, number five had two points. And number 21 hit that three-pointer at the uh, end of the first quarter. For Byron Center, uh, leading scorer is Cam Carroll. He's at 13. Austin Buckley has seven. Isaac Lee has seven, Ben Hegel has two, and J.J. Brock has four. 
So talking with uh, J.J. Brock's uh, dad at halftime, when he went up for that um, dunk that he was all alone, he blew out his shoes. So he had a quick change of shoes. So, um, so there's some deep color there for you folks. Um, so that's the reason why when Jaden Brock was going to go up for that second dunk and had to go for a layup and it was off, his, his uh, shoe blew out. So, um, so we had to do a change of shoes. And so with that, no, one, no one's really in any kind of uh, foul troubles here. Oh boy, I have Dr. Messina next to me here, so I better behave myself. So um, it's been a great night here. It's a good energy um, with uh, exam week and, and that. So I think some of the pressure off the students that were uh, getting ready for exams uh, to have a good Friday night. So Greenville got it on alternating possessions. I don't think they're having trouble getting it in. And we're gonna get a foul, a reach in. So good defense by Ferguson, but this, couldn't do it enough. So that's, and we only and we only had one team foul for that whole first uh, first half. So uh, that was really well played. So Greenville gets it in. A good defense by Byron Center to start this off here. Oh, Ferguson got the steal over to Isaac Lee, lays it up and he got it. So Byron Center outscored in the second, outscored Greenville in the second quarter, 14 to 12. So great start for Byron Center here. Ferguson's been active on defense, picked up a foul, but was playing great defense when he picked up that foul. Off it, and Lee gets a rebound. Here come the Bulldogs. All right, Byron Center's gonna take, Isaac Lee's gonna take it back out, reset the, uh, Reset the offense. J.J. Brock with the ball. Ferguson had it on the cut. Call that the mouse in the house. J.J. Brock, oh, he thought about a three. Kicks it off for Buckley. Buckley rattles it out, and Greenville gets the defensive rebound. J.J. Brock with a strip. Here it comes. Wearing the new yellow shoes. And jams it home. Here comes the hammer. Those yellow shoes must be it. Buckley with a rebound. Here come the Bulldogs again. Oh, Isaac Lee might head it there. Isaac Lee up top all by himself. Okay, timeout by Greenville. Save the turnover, almost a call for a held ball. Would have, would have been Greenville's ball. So, so it's gonna be a 30 second timeout. That's their third timeout. So let's look at our sponsors, Byron Township, a community on the move, Gaines Charter Township, our silver sponsors, Family Fair, Fast Signs, and Orthopedic Associates of Michigan, and our gold sponsors, Armored Roofing and Construction, and the Center for Physical Rehabilitation. Follow BCTV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Find us at BCTV25 across all platforms. And you can always go to the website also if you just want to look at a schedule so you can plan what you want to view. So it's going to be Greenville's ball underneath um, after that scrum on the floor. So, so, so here, here come the Yellow Jackets. The Byron Center showed a little bit of a, a press there, but not much. Double team up top. They're gonna call offensive foul. Kind of lowered it in, so. They're saying that's his second team's first of the half. It's not what I had, but. J.J. Brock kicks it out to Cam Carroll. Takes the inside step. J.J. Brock keeps it alive. Isaac Lee cleans it up. Isaac Lee for two. Oh, 
Oh, Greenville almost lost it. So 13, Robinette is in, and number 21, Ingles, is in. Well, we got a kick, so out of bounds, and it's going to probably stay Greenville's ball. A kick on Byron Center. Greenville throws it into the backcourt. Isaac Lee on him. Oh, he snuck his way through. Zamorin gets two. And that's their first baskets of the quarter. Byron center up 39-23. Isaac Lee with the ball over to Buckley. Buckley can drive it in. Gets it to Brock. Got a mismatch. Nick Jesse and Ben Heagle going to be coming to the Bulldogs on the next whistle. J.J. Brock has it up top. And we're going we're, we're gonna to call a travel, not a jump ball. So, so Cam Carroll's going to come in, and uh, he's going to come out, and uh, J.J. Brock's going to come out too. So here comes Greenville. Um, they've only scored two points in, the, in this quarter so far. And we're about halfway through the third quarter. Oh, Hegel almost got the steal there. Kick up to the top, three point, got it. Jackson Ingles for three. Nick Jesse keeps that ball alive for Byron Center. Isaac Lee ends up with the rebound. Good job by Nick Jesse to keep that ball alive for the Bulldogs. Nick Jesse with the ball down low, and he's gonna get fouled, he's gonna be shooting two. Fouls by number 13. Zeke Robin on his first team, team se it was only the team second, so not a lot of fouls in these games, in this game so far. There were six fouls by Greenville in the first quarter, only one by Byron, so they've only had two fouls, in this, or three fouls in this whole game now. This is the first one, he gets one more. Second one's out, but Austin Buckley with a rebound. Ferguson tried to bring it down low. We're gonna call a jump ball, and it's still, still is Byron center ball. So Byron center ball underneath. Shot up by Buckley, got it. Oh boy, that one tickled the twine. 42 26 with three minutes left in the third quarter. Zamorin gets two, and plus, plus he's going to get a bonus here. Fire center foul on Isaac Lee, his first, team second. This will be on Isaac Lee, that's his first, and the team second. Michael Bradshaw in for Isaac Lee. Zamorin for the and one. And no and one. Ben Hegel grabs the rebound. Oh, and he lost it. And Ben Healy's gonna call for a foul, but it looked like a good block to me. Ben Healy, that's gonna be on his first. And that's gonna be the team's third foul, and Ingles is gonna be shooting two. 
First one's good. And the second one's good. 42-30. Greenville with a little bit of a little bit of a press here. Ferguson gets through it. Almost. Bradshaw with the ball up top. Ferguson's got it back. Whew, how he got through that, I don't know. Bradshaw thought about it for a second into Hegel. Hegel with the top. Over to Bradshaw for three. Hegel tried to get the, the push back, but didn't quite get it. So Greenville with a defensive rebound and the third ball. Zamorin for three. He got it. <laughs> And Buckley answers with three. So retains Greenville's ball in for Byron Center. Number five, Drew Thomas. Zamorin float one's up, doesn't get it. Drew Thomas ends up with a defensive rebound. Buckley with the ball, but he hasn't got a lot of numbers there, so he's gonna pitch it back out. In for Hegel. No call. No call again. And so Greenville ends up with the ball. Hegel may have got hit twice there. Hegel gets the defensive rebound on the miss by, by Ingles. Oh. Not a good pass there by Ferguson. Got arm to flex it. Byron Center with numbers. Buckley with Buckley misses it. And here comes Greenville. Kind of a kind of an ugly little bit of basketball here. Four hits it. Samron hits another three. This is third three of this half. It's 45, 36, Byron Center only up by nine with 20 seconds left. He goes with the ball up top. Byron Center's gonna take this down to the buzzer. Bradshaw with the ball, six seconds left. Buckley with the ball. So at the end of three, Byron Center 45, Greenville 36. So Greenville trying to get back in that game. So they outscored us 14-13 in that quarter. So Byron Center gave up a little bit. Um, Buckley hitting that three to answer um, Zamorin's second three uh, was really helpful there. So let's look at our sponsors while we are at this uh, midway this between quarter break. Byron Township, a community on the move. Gaines Charter Township. Uh, our silver sponsors, Family Fair, Fast Signs, and the Orthopedic Associates of Michigan. And our gold sponsors, Armored Roofing and Construction and the Center for Physical Rehabilitation. We here at Byron Center are always looking for new opportunities to connect with our community, and one that makes the biggest impact is in the form of a sponsorship. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of BCD and would like more information, call 878-6780. Sponsorship rates are affordable, tax deductible, and help bring you even more community-oriented content. So on the alternating possession, Greenville ball. Forty-three is back in. No call there. Off on Greenville. Byron Center ball. Yeah. 
So Byron Center, the players that were in at the end of the quarter are still your players out there. Boy, Ferguson is just having to work really hard out there. He gets the ball picked and he's gonna, the ball goes out of bounds. Isaac Lee's gonna come in. And Ferguson's gonna take a break. Boy, Ferguson has really been working hard to get that, um, to um, move that ball around. He's been kind of frazzled. He go with the ball up top. Drew Thomas with the ball now. He go brings it inside and he's gonna get fouled and he's gonna be shooting two. So that's his third, team third. Cam Carroll's gonna be coming in. So he, hit, he hits the first one. And the second one rolls out. And controlled by Greenville. So Greenville brings it down the court. Byron Center up by 10. We're in the first minute of the fourth quarter. It's good defense by Hegel. Lucky bounce there for Greenville that it bounced off someone's hands into a Greenville player. Shot is off and Hegel ends up with a rebound, brings it down the court himself. He's gonna go all the way in and he's gonna be shooting again. So it's going to be the first on Ingles. It's going to be four team fouls. Cam Carroll's been waiting to come in, but. So he hit, Eagle hits the first one. You got the second one. So Carroll comes back in and picks up a foul right away. It's only a second. It's only the team's, uh, that's the team's fourth. Hego gets the rebound. Blocking foul and Hego gets it. And it's going to be and one. Hutchinson, that's his second, team's fifth. And he got it. Cam Carroll comes in with a big rebound, and he got it. So that is Greenville timeout. It's going to be a going to be full timeout. The love of the game draws us to sports as players, coaches, spectators, and officials. For officials, it's a way to stay in the game they once played, to feel the thrill of putting on the uniform, stepping into the playing surface, 
stepping onto the playing surface, hustling to make the call, and building the relationship, which can only be built in sports. If you still have that love for the game, we always need new officials. Register now at MHSAA.com. A message from the Michigan High School Athletic Association promoting the value and values of educational athletics. So with that, we have 547 left in the game. Byron Center, 53, and the Yellow Jackets, 36. Give me Greenville ball. In for the Bulldogs is number uh, 20, Tyler Waite. Ball by number 21 and a good save by by weight over to Isaac Lee. Wait for three. It's off. And Greenville gets it on a long rebound. Shot is off and it's rebounded by Byron Center. Here comes Buckley with the ball. Eagle gets it into Carroll. Carroll's trying to weave his way in. He's going to get fouled. It's going to be the sixth team foul, so we're not shooting yet. Foul is by number two. That's his second. Team six. J.J. Brock coming in for Ben Heagle. So next, next foul, Byron, so will be in the bonus. Buckley drives it down. Oh, he missed the dunk. He laid it up, he would have been fine, but he tried to finish. Cam Carroll working down there. Fouls can be on but number 20, Tyler Waite, his first, team's fifth. Buckley's gonna come out, coming in for Byron Center, number 11, Trey Sluter. Trey Sluter in for Byron Center. Brock, Brock got left off on his feet. Shot by number 22, Braylon Heist for two. That's their first points for the uh, quarter. JJ got caught. JJ Brock got caught. Caught um, jumping too far up for that. And so Byron Center gets it stolen. Number two again with another bucket. Byron Center's got to take a little bit better care of the ball here. Uh, we got four minutes left in the quarter. Byron Center's a little out of control at the moment. Isaac Lee, J.J. Brock has the reach, and J.J. Brock fought for that. Got the offensive rebound. He gets fouled. That's, he's going to be shooting one in the bonus. Number 13 with a foul. That's his uh, Robinette. That's his second. Team seventh, so J.J. Brock's gonna be shooting one. 43, 43, Caleb Clements is back in for uh, Greenville. So J.J. Brock shooting one plus the bonus. He got the first, gets the bonus. So Greenville only has one timeout left. Byron has four of their five left. Second one's off. And he almost grabbed his own rebound. It's a Greenville ball, so good hustle. We've got timeout. It's a full timeout for uh, Byron Center. And so uh, we're gonna look at our, our sponsors one last time for this game. So um, I'm, th I'm so thankful for these sponsors that they um, support BCTV and uh, Byron Center Athletics. So Byron Township, a community on the move. Gaines Charter Township. And then our silver sponsors, Family Fair, Fast Signs, Orthopedic Associates of Michigan, and our, our gold sponsors, Armored Roofing and Construction, the Center for Physical Rehabilitation. 
So remember, you can follow BCTV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Find us at BCTV25 across all platforms. And if you really want to find more stuff online, you can go in social media. You can keep up with everything MHSAA on social media. Look us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for tournament updates, event announcements, and high school sports news from around the state. It's the best way to connect with the MHSAA every day. A message from the Michigan High School Athletic Association promoting the value and values of educational athletics. So give you a little status here where we're at. 3.54 left in the game. Byron Center up 54-40. Byron Center has five fouls and Greenville has seven. Uh, Byron Center has three timeouts left now and Greenville only has one timeout left. Greenville has the ball and Byron Center has the arrow if there is a held ball. In for number three, Marco Fontanella. And his first points of the game. Byron Center up by 12. Byron Center's got to get it across. Sluter with the ball. It's double teamed. That means someone's got to be open. It's going to be a foul on number four, it looks like. Yep, number four is Zamron. That's going to be his third, team's eighth. Sluter going to be at the line, shooting one in the bonus. He got it, rattled it in. So you get another. Buckley's going to be coming back in for the Bulldogs. And the second one rolls out. Jaden Brock with a Jaden Brock with a rebound, and he gets fouled. So he's going to be going to the line. Forty-three. That's going to be Caleb Clements. That's his second foul. Team's ninth. Oh, he rattles it out. Gets another. He got the second. Fifty-six forty-two with three about three minutes left on the clock. Going to travel on Greenville. Turnover, Byron Center ball. Jaden Brock with the ball. He's getting frustrated out there. Gets it over to Isaac Lee. Isaac Lee with the ball. Yeah, Byron Center continues to work. Cam Carroll with two. <laughs> Cam Carroll, that's going to be his third. Team six, so they're still not shooting yet. Number, number 11 and number 13 in for the Yellow Jackets. So two minutes left, 58-42, Byron Center. Byron Center looking for that first conference win. Jane Brock loses, loses, loses feet. 
Oh, you got to be careful there with the, with, after the jump ball. So jump ball, it's going to be Greenville ball. And we've got a line change for the Bulldogs. So coming in for the Bulldogs, we've got number 20, Tyler Waite, 5, Drew Thomas, 21, Landon Koiker, and Nick, 34, Nick Jesse. Oh, and, uh, and Mike Bradshaw in as well, or Austin Cross, Cross in as well. So a minute 38 left. Byron Center has a line change. Cross goes inside. Byron Center just working that ball around, killing clock. Tyler Waite for three. Over the top, it's going to be give me their ball. Number five, Ben Hutchison back in for Greenville. Shot is off, Byron Center gets it. Quaker brings it down for the Bulldogs. He sneaks in through, gets it over to, gets it over to, to Krause. Thomas has it to wait. Back over to Thomas. We're under 45 seconds left. Byron Center just killing some clock. Quaker for three, off the mark. Greenville gets the rebound. And I don't know why we have a foul there. Tyler Wade, that's his first, team seventh. So that's his second, this team seventh, so they're gonna be shooting. So number 13, Zeke Robinette, shooting at the bonus, one of the bonus. It's off, Byron Center gets the rebound. 30 seconds left in this game, but Byron Center up, 58-42. Byron Center loses it. And they get it right back. 20 seconds left. Good to see these kids still working hard. Byron Center and Greenville still working hard. 10 seconds left. Two, one, zero. Byron Center is your winner, 58-42. So uh, what a good game. Byron Center goes, increases to five and three. Uh, overall, one and two in the conference. Um, that, was a bit, that was a big win for the Bulldogs. Scoring for tonight for, for Greenville. Uh, number two, Heist with nine. Fontanella with two. Zamorin with 15. Hutchison with two. And Ingles with uh, 15. He had four threes in that game. For Byron Center, your scorers are Austin Buckley with 13, Isaac Lee with 11, Trey Sluter with one, Cam Carroll with 17, Ben Hegel with 10, and JJ Brock with eight. So with that, good night everybody. Enjoy this nice winter, mild winter evening. This is Joel Hondo signing off and saying go Bulldogs.